Hello people and welcome to my first Source Filmmaker tutorial. I will be showing you guys how to um, apply locks and or items to your Source Filmmaker models. Um, in this clip, I believe I did a medic and practically chose a Team Fortress item under the right click menu in the animation set editor or editor. And I practically, um, I practically, uh, selected Add Team Fortress item. And, um, that's a way to, um, get the class specific item you want for your medic or whatever. I will be doing, um, another, uh, clip soon of where I just record me actually applying locks to items and zeroing it out so that so that people will actually get my um, my uh, my drift of what I'm trying to do here um, so I hope that you enjoy this video and um, yeah I just want to hel help you guys is all Here I was um, uh, applying locks like I promised earlier because, um, well, you know, I mean, it's kind of difficult to, uh, I just can't. I mean, um, it kind of took me a while to select a model for whatever the heck the medic should hold. Which I ended up choosing um, the three rune blade for the scout. And this is where Source Filmmaker becomes so interesting. It's just beautifully, or no, it's just where you can like put a class's um, item onto another class's model, and you can like apply locks to the, the weapon bones and stuff. I can't really explain playheads except that you do the same process um, with the root transform of the model of the character and you drag it down to the weapons model and you or the items model and you just you, of course, move it to the correct spot where you want it to move. And you also playhead it, which means that it will, like, move in sync with the movements you added to the character model's animations. 